energy check. Good morning. It's bright and early. I'm pulling three cards for each of the signs because I just wanted to, especially since Mercury is in retrograde. And we don't know what to expect for Mercury in retrograde. But good morning, straight out of bed. Pulling cards for the signs. Mercury is in retrograde. And what can we be expecting for Mercury in retrograde for the Virgos? Ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. The planet of communication is in the reverse. So technically, that usually means that a lot of people from the past are going to come back to um, to speak to you, to, to try to come back into your life, or maybe situations that you haven't um, healed from or things that you haven't worked on. Good morning, guys. Straight out of bed. Like, um, I literally got up. I was like, oh, I was like, I need to do this right now. So, um, so Mercury is in retrograde. Hi, Bia. Hi, everybody. Hi, Gina. Hi, everybody. Love you guys. Love and light. Love and light. Just because Mercury is in retrograde doesn't mean everybody has to start freaking out. Oh, my God. Like, everything's going to go crazy now. It will be a little <clears throat> interesting is, is how I want to say it. It's going to be. It'll be interesting. You know, um, September is going to bring <coughs> a lot of, um, it's, well, it's been bringing up a lot of dreams. I don't know if anybody else has been having some crazy ass, like, what the fuck kind of dreams. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so Virgo, what's coming for Virgo for Mercury and retrograde? And retro, retro, don't start, don't start. <laughs> I'm ruled by Mercury, so I actually, I'm good once Mercury is in retrograde, but before that, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. like, I had videos you could see where I was speaking gibberish. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Now, it is the planet of communication, right? So you guys, um, it's in retrograde, meaning it's in the reverse. Now, things from the past can be coming up, as in <clears throat> conversations, things you haven't spoken with with people about, or it could be also things that you were writing about in the past year and you, you didn't get to finish or Things that you were doing, maybe you were writing a book that's coming up with for ooh Virgo, Ace of Cups and the Lovers, mm. and the High Priestess. Ooh Virgo, Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the High Priestess. We got a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming up, a Gemini, and a Taurus right here. <clears throat> Let me just see what I'm picking up here. Okay, I did say three cards, so thank you. Let me just tap into and see what I'm picking up here. I mean, this looks to me something, a beautiful offer, some kind of like gift coming your way here. And your intuition's been telling you that here. I feel like you've been waiting for this for a while. Whatever this is, you've been waiting for it. And it's like an angel is dropping it down from the sky to you. It's um, it's really something you, you've you been patient for, I'm hearing again. And you've been waiting for. I'm almost seeing this as um, duality. Could be like as above, so below. But I'm also seeing this as siblings for now and love as well, right? Um... <clears throat> There is an offer, like your cup is overflowing right now. Like you're going to have a an overflow of abundance, something. Your intuition has been telling you about this. Like she's surrounded by the third eye here. You see that on the the um, pineal gland represented by the pine, pine cones around her or him sitting around. It's like you knew something was coming. Knew something was coming. Yeah. Loving yourself as in, because this is out right here when you have the two, it's like, Finding duality within yourself and completing something where you just felt like something was missing and finally you put the pieces back together And I'm gonna say another thing is the drama the drama is gone from your life and, and whatever kind of way There was drama involved. It's like you're almost like not you're not putting yourself in with other people's issues Okay, there there's no more of that like you're not surrounded by like first of all something is coming and to help you like finances some kind of money or a contract an agreement something's coming in for you money contract agreements work 
being able to give um <clears throat> and receive as well it's like the the the, the equal equal equilibrium of the it's like the ebb and flow like it's going to give receive give receive you have two different beautiful um energies here awesome beautiful okay let's do gemini now virgo beautiful let's do gemini and then we'll do aquarius <clears throat> because um both of them are ruled by mercury um we are in the age of aquarius so we'll do aquarius and then and then i'm hearing okay let's do let's do aquarius i mean excuse me aquarius let's do um gemini okay and interestingly enough like i jumped out of bed like and i just had like the most freeing feeling in my heart and my spirit like i was you know i was feeling so <clears throat> different today there's something like big that i let go of like i just i had these dreams that you know where i was like so looking into my dreams sometimes we could like over analyze our dreams like what was that about was so you know what just let it just like sometimes it's just a dream you know sometimes it's just things that happen i don't want to be involved with drama like at all in the astral because you know guys you guys if you know you watch me i deal with a lot of spirit in the astral i dealt with a lot of them and now i'm like you know what you guys gotta find your way like you're making me fucking tired i'm traveling doing shit in my dreams that makes no sense like stop wasting my time like i got shit to do you know all right so gemini you got the queen of wands here empowerment <clears throat> <clears throat> i definitely see you being <clears throat> from like this closed off like maybe even a little isolated you were staying home a lot or keeping keeping yourself enclosed in the home not not really expanding yeah i see you traveling more here gemini is making investments in something um with the seven of pentacles here and i see you taking your stance like finally taking your power your control back your your it's like power and control like cuz i almost feel like all right i see okay we got it um, Sagittarius energy, uh, Aries energy, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. But I do see um, with the Queen of Wands, Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, Six, Seven, the Emperor and, and the Temperance. Oh, wow. Okay. Some of these finances are about to, um, I just heard explode. <laughs> well, some of you, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like the traveling that's going to happen or moving away from something. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I understand. I understand. All right. So somebody who's, who is like kind of maybe lost their, like, their gumption or their their power kind of is taking that back. You're walking away from things that take your power away. That's how I hear that. Um, your finances are changing, changing completely. You're definitely looking into like what. You, first of all, you're spending less. I hope so, Gemini, because you tend to be a could have a shopping addiction, major shopping addictions. Like, you know, I gotta go to Walmart or Target every day. You know, that's a big thing. But I feel like someone someone strong and very sturdy around you um ah, i've been waiting to crack that for three days it was just stuck there oh somebody powerful around you it's not weird i said i've been waiting to crack that for three days oh you son of a bitch my ears are going crazy right now let's ground let's ground clearing ground Okay, there's a lot coming in right now, I'm just going to say. You guys, there's so much coming in. Um, I am really feeling like... There's a, definitely a big change in our finances happening here. Whatever you've been waiting for, I keep hearing this. It's coming. It's on its way to you. I'm pouring... I'm pouring your cup. If you feel like your cup is empty, I'm pouring it for you. I am pouring your cup for you right now, Gemini. Gemini is getting their cup refilled. Refilled is how I'm hearing it. And you know, my brother said yesterday, 
the other day we were talking about like business and real estate and all this stuff and he goes to me he goes you know what it is i'm just not a half glass full kind of guy or half glass empty kind of guy i'm a this glass can be refilled kind of guy and i was like why have i never heard that before you know oh and i looked up it's the number 22 of balance here all right let's step into aquarius what messages do we have for aquarius that are important for their next journey please their next steps their next mission their next life path oh boy yes aquarius Oh my gosh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something's 100% you're about to celebrate something with the, fam with the family. Something you're gonna, it's something you're waiting for. It's paperwork, contract, or something with paper. Um, this is legal situation, something that, that, wow, there's a lot of, this is not even like, not even just the cards. I'm feeling the energy of like somebody just going like what, what you need, you will receive what you want. You will get what you've prayed for and wished for. You will have it. You have it. You already have it. You have it. Do you, do you believe you have it? I'm here. Like, do you believe you have it? Like, I'm literally going to say I'm hearing, like, I'm always there. Um, 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 so, so there's something that, that was, like, worrisome to you. <clears throat> Definitely has to do with finances for a lot of you. <clears throat> there's a victory here. It's 100% the yes of an answer. It's going to... It's going to, I'm here for some of you, something might take a little bit of time, but it's, in the end, it's a wish fulfillment. Like, it's like, you know, you're patiently waiting for something, but then when it gets there, it's like, like, it's like a lot at once, you know, a lot, it could be a lot of money, a lot of things coming your way at once. It's just a lot, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Aquarius, like look forward to this. This is a wish fulfillment. I want you to meditate. I'm here and meditate and take your time and <clears throat> try and try and believe that things will work out for you. Well, no, not try. Believe that things will work out for you, okay? Let's do Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for all of the signs. Taurus, 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 Taurus. I keep hearing that song. Almost there, almost there. People gonna come from everywhere, and I'm almost there. Trials and tribulations, I've had my share. People gonna come from everywhere, almost there. Some, some steps, some steps, some steps. steps, steps, steps. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Taurus, I will do Capricorn next. Um, I'm not really looking at the comments too much because I want to kind of like get in um, the energy here and see what I pick up and, and channeling energy too. Taurus, actually either, yeah, actually see a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn offering somebody a gift or somebody something that they need here. Like you're getting this like a gift. I'm here. I got this for you. I'm giving it to you. But you're still worried, like you're you're worried about something. Whatever gift is being offered or given to you, you still have so many worries here. This could be like fears, doubts, worries, you know. I'm so sorry, I just woke up. I have no bra on and that's not okay for a girl who's a 40, 38 triple D, like <laughs> triple D. Okay. You <laughs> of course, Taurus, you and super freaks um it's like whatever you're you're being offered like there's a gift here for you but you're like you're not accepting it and you're actually you're trying to accept it but you keep worrying you keep worrying and and you you don't have to worry especially because there's an angel here who's like hey hey guess what i'm bringing you what you want i'm bringing you what you need I mean, I got what you want, I got what you need. What's that song? 
Can I the man and I? Remember that song? I don't know, but I got what you want. I got what you need. So there is a gift here being given, presented to you. I would say time after time. I'm hearing like, and you just have to end the worrying. It's like this worrying aspect of yourself. That part wants you to stop because there is beautiful gifts coming in. Beautiful, amazing, wonderful gifts coming in. And um, I do want to... Maja fucking. Okay. All right, let's do Capricorn. I want to um, sort of... Uh, who's in the room right now? Gina, um, are you in here? Can you please write down on a piece of paper? So far, I did um, Virgo, Aquarius, and 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 Taurus. And, uh, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, in that order. So I could so so you could write it down in the comment section because um, I don't have, I'm, I don't have I don't have pants on. I have no pants on. <laughs> like job dead Fred. No panties. No panties. <laughs> But I have panties on. I just don't have pants on. I just woke up from the bed. I get up. I read some messages. I listen to my dreams. I write them down. Nothing important. Some crazy shit. This bitch was choking on a fucking piece of glass in her mouth. I don't know. She was like choking. It was like weird, yo. It was like fucking weird. She like put the whole glass in her mouth. I think she was like trying to show off for like social media. So she put the glass in her mouth, like, look at me, I can suck big dicks. And then it got stuck in her mouth, and I was trying to take it out of her mouth. And then finally, I was like, yo, just let it lubricate. And then she literally spit out the glass. It was like that big. It was in her throat. I'm not kidding you. This is the dream I had. Now, mind you, last time I had a dream like this, some weird ass shit happened. People was talking shit, like shit got stuck in their throat. And I'm like, yo, bitch, you're being called out right now. And like, you know, like you're fucking being called out. You fucking dumb bitch. Like you want to talk shit. And now you got glass stuck in your throat. And like, what am I going to do? I'm going to squeeze some lube down your throat and I'm going to handle that for you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like, no. But I'm saying, like, if anybody could write down, her throat chakra was, like, full with, like, a glass stick. <laughs> Always before Capricorn, this is the best stories. I know, isn't that weird? <laughs> okay. Um, but, um, yeah, she totally had, like, a fucking glass. I think I just did, like, five accents at once. Anybody else notice that? I was very odd behavior. <laughs> Darling, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I haven't even had my tea and crumpets yet. And I'm over here doing tarot in the morning. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously. Okay, hold on. Let me just take a pull of this. Here, be baruni. I know why. <gasps> oh my God. I said, I know why. I said, I know why, because fucking Capricorn has the wish fulfillment. <laughs> and he, I feel like Vanna White right now. Oh my God, I just got a vision. I'm Vanna White and I'm standing there and I'm like, like, you know, and your prize is, you know, the wheel of, oh my God, you think about the, you know what? The wheel of fortune, Vanna White associated with that. And the fact that you got the wish fulfillment here, it's like, you're gonna win. You're winning. You're like Charlie Sheen right now, winning, you know. You got tiger's blood all running through you, you fucking animal, you Capricorns. You know, um, <clears throat> um, sometimes like when you tend to get like you're you're like down a little bit and you're like, nah, I don't think I do this. <laughs> like here's the thing, like I'm seeing like confidence and then sometimes this part of you just wants to come in, darling, and tell you you can't make it. But, you know, that that's not right. That's not right. That's a lie. It's a fucking lie, okay? It's an illusion. Oh, hello. Oh, somebody's, somebody's getting over heartbreak? Is somebody, is somebody getting over some heartbreak here? Actually, this landed halfway like this. How? There's somebody still... Oh... Somebody's getting over feelings like someone stabbed them in the heart. Getting over it though, like over it, over, over it though. That's how I'm feeling this. Bree, my darling, how are you, darling? My beautiful golden child, how are you? 
your moon is in Capricorn up, well then your emotions are, first of all, I am seeing somebody like, like, okay. So Capricorn is, first of all, you're, you're going to, okay, ground it, ground it, chill. Um, a lot of traveling. Oh, a lot of tra boy, 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 do you see this boy? Boy, do you look at this? Look at this, darling. Do you see this? It's all traveling. You're like turning your back on things. There's like ships coming in here for you. There's like a boat and you're like taking a trip somewhere and you're going. And let me just tell you, first of all, you're turning your back on pain and heartache. Somebody's turning their back on the pain. Somebody stole from somebody here. Somebody robbed somebody here. Um, lied. I feel treachery and deceit. And they need... It's like you want to get revenge on this person, but don't, but don't, but don't, don't, don't get revenge on them. I know whatever they did, you know, whatever they did, it doesn't matter because your heart is healing from it. I know it was hard because somebody played the magician energy on you. They played the, the sneaky, 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 creepy, deepy energy on you, but you're like turning it back. And let me just tell you something, whatever you're waiting for, like there's just something, it's like this. Like, it's like, I have everything I want here, right? But there's like this one little thing that you're waiting for. And it's, it's coming to you. It's coming to you. And like, I, I feel like I'm Cuba right now. And I'm about to take the boat to uh, America. And, you know, fucking roll cigars and shit. Like, it's going to be like popping, poppy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be popping. Because, oh, somebody's finding some love here. <laughs> the love boat. Now we'll be making another one. No. The love boat. Somebody's gonna make some sweet, sweet love to somebody here. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. I'm just gonna say for the Capricorns, whatever past pain you have struggled with, or someone has hurt you, lied to you, deceived you, manipulated you. Uh, you know, took advantage of you. I just gonna say that it's no, it's not gonna be like that no more, papi, no more, no, 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 no more. Giving my heart to you, it's no more than I'm allowed to do. See my days go without you. <laughs> I was gonna say something. <laughs> See my pussy's cold without you. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get to Pisces. Pisces <laughs> in Albania. Pisces, we say it's a little boys. Oh, you little Pisces. <laughs> I know some of you ladies be baby talking penises. Don't even lie. You be like, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, who's the little penis? Who's the, who's the little bullies? You the, oh, you're so cute. Who's going to get so today? Oh my, do you want some morning head? Yes, you do. Oh my God, that is so so, so sexy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> no more puppy. <laughs> Who wants to get the dick sucked in the morning? Is it you? Do you have a boner? Ah, oh, that's so cute. Tickle, 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 tickle. So cute. It's a, look at, it's a little hole. It's, look, it's smiling at me. Oh my gosh. Is that a smile? Is that a smile? I think it's a smile. Oh, my your baby. Make the little pee pee hole talk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Pisces. So, um, <laughs> what's going on for the Pisces energy? Their spirit? Okay, great. Capricorn, awesome. Getting you dicks like early in the morning. Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a treat to me, if you ask me. <laughs> Mom, wake up in the morning. Hey, what's that? What's that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. No, okay, okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. The energy today is fabulous. Fa fa fabulous. Fabulous. Hey, hey yo. Hey yo, I know I'm I'm sorry. I swear. I know it's I know you guys think it's like all me, your like flow is crazy. Like I am, but I also I, I'm picking up a lot of crazy energy in here, but it's beautiful. It's nice. Okay. Okay, Pishis. Pishis. <laughs> oh, I have problems sometimes. 
Oh my god. <coughs> Did we do Scorpio? Did we do Scorpio? <laughs> I watched the porn last night and I watched romantic porn and I was like, come on, Flo, you can do this. Bust a nut. You can you need to bust a nut. Stop holding it in. Stop holding your sexual energy in. And I did, and it was like the weirdest orgasm. It was like, it was an orgasm, but it wasn't, it was, it was like, is this an orgasm? I don't know, I'm over here examining my orgasmic state of mind. Like, bro, can I just enjoy busting a nut? No, I have to even think about how I bust nuts. That's how, that's how much of an analytical mind I have. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so dead. All right, Pisces, I'm pulling cards as I speak about busting nuts. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, Pisces, a Virgo, too. I just got to chill up and down my body. Oh, I feel like somebody touched my nipple. <laughs> somebody just swiped my nipple. <laughs> okay, but um, <sighs> let me breathe. Let me breathe because the energy is so intense right now. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right, Pisces. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> all right. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So seriously. <laughs> she's so goofy. I love to get back because she's talking about sex. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I, it, I, <clears throat> okay. So Pisces. Now, for the Pisces people. Okay. Yes, 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 I see, I see. So I do feel like, um, <clears throat> oh, somebody maybe isn't offering you what you're asking of them, Pisces. Like, I'm seeing you turning your back on somebody who's making you an offer. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, but you're like trying to... Um, either you're picking up and leaving something quickly, like really quickly, like I'm talking about, like I'm out, like, but you're trying to carry more. Th it's like you're biting off more than you could chew type of thing, right? It's like, yeah, Pisces are mad goofy. Um, it's like you're biting off more than you could chew. And I feel like you've been like in the waits for something, really waiting patiently for something for a long time time and something's taking its time to get to you Pisces but it's coming like okay so this is associated with Taurus right and what I love about this card is like um always takes a while to get there but it always like makes its trip full circle and never not finishes the trip you, you could be dealing with a you could have been patiently waiting for a Sagittarius or a Leo to change something or um even a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, to change something. Something that you were dealing with, and I'm going to say this is a tricky energy you were dealing with. This is not the kind of like person or, or situation where probably wasn't the best for you, but like something made you look deep within yourself and realize that this person was like, you know, they were sneaking off, like they could have been sneaking off literally or... Yeah, I, I am here. I am feeling that. Like, there's something there, like, that's... That you were patiently waiting for something. Like, you had to tame some wild beast. Some of you could have been, like, fighting. I'm, I'm going to say... I'm going to say battling energies that were beyond this time and space. And it's, like, another worldly defeat. Something you've defeated. In an, in another in another realm, Pisces being the psychic, you know, the one who astral travels and and does a lot of work in their sleep, there created co-created partnerships with something that caused them to f battle and fight something very strong and very very strong. This could be a person, though. Like for some of you, this could be like here in this three D, but I'm seeing like I'm actually feeling for some of you, this was deeper than that. Like uh, this was. Yeah, oh, and this is like very heavy weighing on your shoulders. I just felt like somebody sat on my shoulders for a second. That was that was strange. Ooh, it was like literally like somebody sat on my on my right shoulder. It's like, mmm, you see that? It said right shoulder and it feels like like that. Like the you know how they like the, they say the devil's on the left, the the angels on the right, but it's really like um you 
finally had somebody like defend you on the right side. You know what I'm saying? Like the right side, the right, the, the light side, the right side, the light side. But you are the magician here, Pisces, and you're, you're actually moving forward from this energy. Whatever this was, it was it was heavy and you're, you're letting it go. And I'm going to say another thing. <clears throat> the illusions and the confusions, because um, Neptune was in Pisces recent. It still is, I believe. And um, that's... You know, the, that's the planet of, you know, psychic capabilities and and being ruled by that planet. And Neptune, you got the energies like 10 times higher, you know. So a lot of illusions could happen when you're starting to see things for what they are. Um, again, like I said, when you go towards the light, the darkness will show itself to you even more. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, let's step into um, Libra. Okay, Libra, let's see what Libra's got going on here. Libra, this is all for Mercury and retrograde. And, and I, as I can feel it so far, this is going to be a powerful, beautiful Mercury and retrograde for me. I hope that you feel the same way about it and remembering that people will come back from the past. You don't have to accept their invitation or any of it. You don't have to even look back at it if you don't want to, you know. It's like almost like ripping a contract up, you know, like when something gets too intense and relationships and karmic lessons that you can't seem to break through. I want you to just remember that you can always break these contracts, okay? My birthday is is coming up in a few days, one, two, three, four, five, six days. And, and let me just tell you, usually Mercury in retrograde is usually a, a time for me for reflecting. And, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck all that reflection shit. Fuck all that lesson shit. I've been there, done that. I'm trying to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, if you're ready, the universe will do, deliver. But you got to be fully ready. And sometimes I say I'm ready or we say we're ready. And sometimes it's just not the time yet. You know, everything. I'm, I'm going to say this too. Divine timing is a real thing. I know this so so vividly because many times i've been ready to to accept and to receive something and the universe was like okay just 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 understand why i'm making you wait because there's something that you need to grow from and learn from so when i do bring this abundance to you i bring this gift to you you will be so prepared you will have nothing to worry about you will be so strong in it okay all right libras um so if your world felt a little closed off recently, like, you know, this maybe in the past or this like present like time frame, you know, not too far in the past. I'm talking about like, you just been feeling a little bit closed off here. Like I'm feeling it, the world opening up for you or the cycles from being closed, from being opened, from being closed off from the world and now going into feeling open stage from karma repeating and turning the wheels, circling back and forth and just repeating circles like this, I feel like it's it's literally opening up and you're starting to see the the better the brighter picture, the horizons are starting to open up for you. You're you're seeing the broader vision of it all. You're not just seeing in this moment um what you've gone through and what you've been through. I feel like you're going to explore what's ahead of you and what you have coming towards you because it's it's like been it's been kind of a challenge for you to kind of get out of this like repeat repetitive cycle there was something big that you just recently said i'm letting this go patao and you just let it go and because you let it go things have got to meta darling so libra you have been you you have been Focus on something here because I do see a, a, a strong spiritual awakening for you, which means that um it's like an awake it's like an epiphany moment is what I'm feeling, some some epiphany that you either just recently had or you're going to have, with breaking and cutting something and someone off that was bringing you down like this could have been in partnerships legalities things like that but I am seeing this like as three people or a third party situation it could be. <clears throat> but I feel like for some of you, this has to do with finances and work. And whatever this magician energy that was around you, I'm seeing this as somebody who was a little bit, you know, with the with the five of swords here. I'm seeing this as somebody who was kind of like taking advantage of something here. This person could have been like taking advantage of your time. Yeah, you've gotten your finances together it's like almost like you know when somebody wants to leave something and they can't because they don't have the money for it or something like that 
Um, it's like you're taking your time building your finances. You're planning on leaving. Like there's like somebody trying to get their money right so they can leave something. Leave something behind here. Because you're going to leave something behind here. Somebody's going to get left in the dust. It's just the finances. Like that's what you need. You need help with the financial part of it. Um, once you establish yourself financially, which whatever you go towards to establish yourself financially, it will be successful. And whatever you're wanting to leave, this could be a job too, you know, like, you know, the, the stories are going to um, manifest in so many ways. Um, <clears throat> a lot of different energies. Here, what's popping, Shine? How you feeling, darling? We love you. Love and light to you, my doll. Okay, babes. All right, babes. Okay, babes. Let's do Leo. How about that? Three, three, three. Oh, and, and right now I looked up, it's 10, three, three. The number 10 being the number of completion, right? Completing a cycle, endings, new beginnings. And the number 33 being the number that you will see when you're ready to work for God. And what I mean by ready to work for God, I'm not saying like go on a mission statement, go to like, you know, you don't have to like become a Mormon. That's not what I mean. I mean, you're ready to to live your your like your life's purpose right? when, you, when you say you're working for god it's not working for god you're working with god to create the life purpose and and to fulfill a mission that you ultimately came here to fulfill right we all come here to fulfill a mission um right so that's a big sign for you guys okay whoever's here in this room right now let's do leo okay <clears throat> wow okay leo leo there's a, excuse me i'm so sorry guys i have literally no pants on so i don't want you guys to see my ass All right um leo i feel like for you guys um what you need to see here is um whatever you've been in your emotions about there is a lot of emotions here i'm feeling for the leos maybe not feeling like you're in a celebratory mood you haven't um been able to celebrate the things that you've been wanting to celebrate i am feeling like some just not feeling well like maybe feeling down a little bit for the leos but i feel like there's something that you needed to leave behind here there is literally something that you just needed to go away from um it's like something has to end or it had to end maybe you just uh, just ended something but there's something that has to end here or had to end you you're worried a lot about something here as well leo there's worries here a lot of worries and i just i, I almost feel the energy for the leos right now I almost feeling like heaviness a little bit a little bit of heaviness like maybe you don't feel well and you want to get back to feeling better maybe you want to feel like you're like back on your shit like i'm, I'm you know, like, you've been, like, kind of, like, in your head a little bit. Maybe things haven't been working out for you the way you want them to. And you kind of, like, do, like, okay, yeah. Um, also, when it comes to finances, you're you're worried about not being able to provide. Yeah, there you are, again. You're not you're not being able to provide the way you want to provide. Um, yeah, there's a lot of financial worries. Yep, work, work is not coming in. Yeah, the money's not rolling in the way you want it to, or you're something but there's something here coming in that's why you got to get the fuck up out of your head you got to get out of your head leo because it's like whatever hasn't been coming in it's coming in it's coming in you just have to see it like coming yep look what i just pulled by accident like literally i was like playing with it and <clears throat> the ace of pentacles here you just have to see it coming you know you you have so much options here there's a lot of financial options and money coming in and work and all that you just you're worried about nothing like i'm gonna say that you're like worried about you know what though but it's like it is worried about something but it's like nothing you know like something like nothing like something nothing nothing something i'm worried i'm not worried i'm worried i'm not worried you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying okay like it's like that so but it's coming towards you it's like but you're just so focused on what didn't happen maybe you're living in the past a little bit too much and and that's a big message for somebody here big message if you're living in the past that makes you depressed if you're living in the future you're anxious you got to try to be in this present moment if it's possible for you okay all right cool all right let's get to um i heard aries so Aries. Oh, did you see the way those cards flipped out like that? Okay. Aries. The 
energy just went silent. As I get to Aries, the energy just went silent, meaning there, there could be no communication from someone. Someone could be not talking to you or, or the, uh, the other way around. But Aries is, is, is taking time to be to examine <clears throat> their choices, their life choices. They're looking, they're trying to balance something here and gain back their power. Some power was taken away from you big, big, big time. It's like, a, I feel a very, very emotionally draining energy, emotionally draining, something with um, giving all your love, all your time and attention to maybe your family, maybe people that didn't deserve your your attention, okay? Something like um, didn't deserve your, med your meditation. <laughs> I just read that. This is family karmic cycles, okay? This is family karmic cycles. Pouring all of your time, all of your energy into your family. Something carried burdens. Uh, this is definitely cycles, 100% cycles. 100% moving forward from those cycles and choosing better options for you because you feel like it was so karmic you know this is karmic like i'm looking at the deck here and and the way i even spread them out and how many cards i pulled out for the aries uh you remember mercury and retrograde bringing back things from the past this could be you needing to clear past karma something that you, you were carrying all the burdens for because my my back as soon as i said that my back i felt like i was carrying buckets of water up a hill and nobody was helping me i'm carrying buckets of water up a hill there's people behind me they could be family they could be Oh, mm, I'm getting a big like headache on the headache for the Aries. I'm, I feel a headache like something just was a headache. It's stressful. What a fucking headache, right? Like it's just so much headache. You know, it's it's like the Aries people are needing to really clear their crown chakra because there's so much going on in there in the head, like. Oh, so many thoughts, so many, so many thoughts, so many. And let me just tell you, you're carrying people's shit, like, and you got to stop. Stop now. I'm going to tell you, now is the time to stop. You continue to carry these these trials and tribulations of people that are, you know, they're almost like projecting their fucking shit onto you, Aries. It's like now, it's like, shoo, let that, let that, let it go, let it go. Let, lift it up and throw it to the universe as I do all the time, you know? I really do. I, I, I sometimes will carry other people's shit and I just, like, I stopped. I stopped being involved with the drama. I stopped listening to what's going on in other people's lives. I stopped being involved, you know? And I just realized, like, you know, sometimes uh, ignorance in some form or another is a little bit of bliss and, and choosing to be ignorant in the right situations, the right, you know, putting yourself in the circumstances in life that are valuable to you, that you need not to be, like, stuck in other people's auras and energy because when we link ourselves to other people, we energetically link ourselves to them as well. So you could leave them and you'll still have energy links tied to them emotional links tied to them karmic links you got to clear that you know every day is clearing and cleansing for you okay aries all right this is scorpio um gina gina did you happen to be writing any of this down the the signs so that i don't because then i don't remember what i went through at least if the signs are in order i can go through them or people can go through them and get the timestamps easier because i don't have time to do time stamps. okay when i finish here i'm usually doing a few private clients and then I'm, you know, running around, getting errands done. I'm leaving to, I'm leaving to Amsterdam, September 3rd. I'm going to Deutschland, the Netherlands. I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't know how the actions are, but I'm going to learn. I think it's like that. I don't know. I'll learn the actions while I'm there and I'll come back and do it. That kind of sounded like Indian with Deutsch with like some, I don't know, other country. Okay. All right, let's do. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, somebody's rushing in towards you, okay? 
Yeah, somebody's rushing in towards you, Scorpio. Um, I feel for this Mercury in retrograde, somebody might come back towards you. This could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, even a Pisces, um, Scorpio, and uh, Cancer, I mean, is, is looking like they might come towards you. Your intuition is telling you to block this person, to not let them, you know, come back into your aura here, okay? Um, really, really don't. Let them come back into your aura, whatever this is. You don't hold on to it too tightly, Scorpio. If there's somebody, this person made you worry a lot, like this person or this situation. Um, I'm telling you, walk away from it if it comes back to test you again, because we're going to be tested here. Everybody's getting a test. You get a test, then you get a test, then you get a test. And everybody's tested in different ways, right? Like, so if there's something you're trying to break out from, Scorpio, and everybody who's listening, because it's a message pretty much for the for the collective if there, everybody gets tested in a specific way so if there's something that you've been breaking yourself setting yourself free from right and you've been wanting to you've been wanting to uh break free from something and you haven't i mean you have the test would be right to be sent right back to that see what i'm saying okay so don't go back to what you've been told is not for you like you don't don't hold on to that past don't do it do not do it scorpio like do not guys do not right now mercury loves to test people in that sense where it's people that you haven't communicated with in a while but people that like triggered you or or made you feel insecure or made you feel useless or or all that or maybe hurt you and they start coming back because they just you know it's uh, mercury retrograde and it does that. That is the planet of communication. People want to come out of the woodworks. Remember me from fucking kindergarten? I don't know you, man. Go that way. You know? <clears throat> you know, so just just be aware of that, right, Scorpio? Because there could be some tests. Some tests. Uh, uh, and, and, and I'm hearing tests of illusions for you, okay? Um, does anybody know which signs I didn't do? Cancer I didn't do, okay? Cancer, Sagittarius, I didn't do. Hi, Mike. Cancer and Sagittarius, I definitely didn't do Sag or Cancer. <clears throat> yeah, no Cancer, no Sag. Okay, so Cancer and then Sagittarius. Okay, let's do Cancer. I don't know what else. Like. All right, Cancer. Success. Success and the answer is yes, Cancer. Success, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. You will reach success. There's could be marriage or a commitment. Somebody, um, four months, four, four months, four weeks, you could either meet somebody who will be exactly the person you need them to be. I'm feeling that for some people. Um, maybe you're not looking at that. You don't want that, but yeah, intuitively, you know something or someone could be coming towards you that you, you've been waiting for love maybe and like uh, something to go, something's going your way is what I'm gonna say, especially when it comes to the home, something with the home foundation here. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely looking into some kind of abundance coming your way. It's actually on its way to you guys right now. Um, this has to do with family I do feel like there's somebody could be moving out of their home um, leaving that situation making the decision to to do what's best for you in whatever way this is <clears throat> definitely stepping into your final abundance and balance coming in here you're gonna be able to either help or heal people around you or help people around you um, I do feel like there's a message coming in this could be for some of you about a job some kind of partnership. Ooh, wish fulfillment. Cancers are gonna get a wish fulfillment. All good news for the cancers, okay? <clears throat> good morning, you guys. Love and light to you all. Hi, DJ Olson. Love and light to you all, guys. Um, you know, I even stopped watching some things, some people, like specifically, there was one person that I used to watch all the time and then all of a sudden she started like getting angry and like 
her readings are so aggressive now and they're just always like if you're being triggered by this reading then you should i'm like damn bitch what happened to you who used to be like love and light love and light like when somebody's like all mad and they keep saying love and light i'm like i think you need to find your love and light i think you need to like shut it down for a moment there's something going on you know we gotta always remember that like whatever we're watching if it's triggering us or we feel discomfort out of whatever we're involved in it is time to break that connection there's a lot of things going on in the spiritual realm as well as in this world we have to disconnect and remember that our motivation should be what we want and we we don't have to look to see what's going to happen in the future all we want is a little bit of hope right a little bit of this this is coming towards you you just need to have faith in it right but i cannot tell you nobody can tell you your future because you are here to create your own reality and so when I read for you, I'm going to tell you what your higher self already knows. I'm going to express to you what you already know, what you're already aware of. I'm just bringing it to light for you because maybe you can't see it. Okay? Yeah, I have to take breaks from people that are that are sending out anger vibrations. Like, I'm like, whoa, calm down, bitch. Yeah, I'm not like it. Because I know me, when I get angry, I could keep going. So I don't get angry. You know, I try not to get angry at all. But like, you know, sometimes I'll spaz out and be like, shut the up. Sorry. But you needed to hear that. It was for your own good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. So, um, Sagittarius is on the move right now. And something that wasn't fair to you, and I'm going to say this could be legality, something rushing towards you and it's going to bring your financial stability to to and into a good place and you're moving away from something that's you could be going on a spiritual journey and this doesn't have to actually mean you're getting on a boat bus train plane plane boat bus train or plane to get there you could be spiritually going on a trip here right in your mind in your heart and you're finally setting yourself free from something you've looked deep inside yourself Sagittarius you've done some work here i'm hearing for you and it's bringing success it's bringing success and and using your intuition has actually been the reason why you will f you will feel this happiness this sun energy okay it's beautiful yeah well sometimes we gotta take a step back that's why i'm glad i'm not gonna i'm going for like 15 days i'm out i'm gone i'm not gonna focus on nothing but myself and just relax and just see another country ride a boat or something i don't know just be like <sighs> freedom 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 not feeling all the time like i gotta be on for everybody and like we always gotta be there and what if we're not you know especially being a sagittarius you're such a hard worker sometimes like you just don't stop i know many sagittarius people that um they just don't know how to stop working. Like, they just keep going and going and going. Like, you're going to burn yourself out, you know, Sag? So just take your time right now. Really, really take your time. Slow down a little bit. Because you don't want to bring about the quick energy where you're, like, focusing on so much, like, in life. You're running around with, like, like a chicken with no head. And, and then, boom, things just blow up in your face. Ah, so take your time. It's something up my back. I'm telling you just these boobs right here if they could just be like that i wouldn't have these back problems right now anyway um sad so there is some some beautiful gifts coming towards you something coming your way um but you have to slow down a little bit is what i'm picking up for the sagittarius so you're working way too hard way too hard way too hard way too hard it's like, you know don't cause conflict for yourself when you don't need it okay i love you guys love my light you all i will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. That's every sign, right? Yep, I think I'm done. I think we're done. Okay, guys. See you guys later. Bye.